In this video, I'm going to show you another way that international medical graduates can find appropriate jobs for them in Australia. Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm the career doctor. I make videos on YouTube to give you the skills to manage your medical career. If you found this video useful? Leave a like. If you're enjoying watching this channel, please subscribe and tell other people about it. In this video, we're going to show you another way that you can find uh, some of those jobs that might be appropriate for an international medical graduate. In other videos, we've shown you that it's not always obvious where those jobs might be, uh, where to find them, where the recruitment sites are, who the key contacts are. So let's dive in and have a look at another example on the computer. At the end of this video, I'll also be sharing with you a few other plans for uh, other resources to help international graduates. So stay tuned to the very end. So I am going to uh, look for medical recruitment companies. And here you'll get a list of several companies. So ads obviously with Google ads at the top with some of the bigger ones. Uh, some of these are more permanent uh, recruitment and some are more locum or short term positions. And really it's difficult for an IMG to do locums. So you really want to know which ones are the more permanent placement ones. So I'm going to look at Wavelength, which is one of the bigger ones uh, and one of the more established ones. And just caveat, uh, we have uh, done a little bit of work for Wavelength in the past and we have been a sponsor of past events that I've run. So go to the landing page. You can see you can search for locum. You can search for permanent. We want permanent locations I suggest you not be too picky um, but also as you can see recruit to Ireland and New Zealand and Singapore uh, seniority so this is where you want to define your search strategy so you want resident medical officer that's the, the lowest rung basically uh, and you could do specialties you've got a list of options there I'm going to press search jobs and you get a list of jobs coming up, 15 in total, in fact. Now you have to go and look at the details of these jobs. So General Medicine Hospital Medical Officer, that's likely to be a little bit too advanced, although he's slotted as a resident, so we could have a look at that. And hopefully on the way site, they talk about the essential criteria here. So with your prior experience here, you must also have current registration with APRA will be eligible for registration from a comparable healthcare system. So that's talking about some of the competent authority countries, basically. So that's, that would be okay if you're from a competent authority country, but uh, not if you're from a standard pathway country. So let's go back and look at this job, Psychiatry RMO South Australia. So this is interesting because this is a role for a PGY2 plus to work in adult mental health. Psychiatry is one of those areas that's hard to fill internationally and including in Australia. But look down here in terms of the essential criteria. So if you're an Australian, you need general registration. If you're in New Zealand, you need the New Zealand qualifications, UK, PLAB, uh, etc., USA, Canada, and other must have completed the AMC MCQ. So this is a position that they would be at least open to considering a suitably qualified uh, candidate who has gone through part one of the AMC process. So just another option there in terms of how to find positions uh, for IMGs to, to get your first job uh, working in Australia. I'll leave a link to that position in the description below. So if you do end up applying for that job, tell Wavelength that I sent you. Okay, so there you go. There's another option for finding some of those jobs that might be appropriate for an international medical graduate, whether you be coming from a common and authority country or a standard pathway country. Uh, we'll shortly be releasing a video around the competent authority pathway, but there's already videos and you can see the card and the link above uh, about the standard pathway process. So I promised you at the start of this video, I'd be sharing with you some of my plans for helping out international medical graduates uh, with their job search process if they're thinking of coming to work in Australia. So uh, we'll leave a link in the description below to a new landing page on my website where you can find a whole bunch of resources that might be helpful to you. It'll start off with some videos and some other links, uh, but we'll build up on it over time. And uh, you can make suggestions about uh, other things that would you would find helpful. Also, don't forget to join the International Doctors Australia Support Group on Facebook. There's a link in the description there as well. So 
that's all for now and see you in another video.